Okay, welcome back to the channel, my people. So happy to have you here. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Hope you guys had a really nice weekend. I know I did. Super relaxing. Really needed that day off. Did not do the What Not Show Saturday. I just was exhausted and I needed a break. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I really wanted to do one. And sometimes you just have to listen to your body. And with the move and everything, things uh, starting to calm down a little bit. The Florida man needed a break. Today... We are going to fulfill uh, a request, a comment that I'm seeing in the videos quite often, and that is how to wheel swap a Hot Wheel. And I do have this really cool Ultra Hot Civic Si, and I would love to do a wheel swap on this. But I also have the Kaido House Datsun too. Hmm, one second. Okay, I do have the mystery pack mystery models 510 the kaido house dots and 510 we could swap either of the two the civic or the dots and now i've done the dots and before never done the civic oh it's tempting man it's tempting i've got a few different wheel options here we have some gold wheels some blue wheels some uh, lettered tires there advan we have a four bar wheel the toyo tire letter and here is some non-lettered tires, some gold four bars, some green kind of eight-spoke dealies. The only issue with these is the tires are thinner. They're not as, the diameter overall is not the same as the letter tire, which you could see right there, I hope. But yeah, uh, basically they're the Advan, uh, the letter tires are a little bit thicker, and sometimes that's good. Sometimes you need a, a little bit larger diameter uh, for your wheel swap. So, gosh, I would love to see these blue Advan letter tires on the Honda. The tires are interchangeable these it's this is not sponsored but these are just from shopmonoblock.com we'll also be using their premium axle which is a three-piece axle two outer pins and a center section we're gonna have to trim that center section down most likely uh, depending on what type of width we need every base is a little bit different in width so to have an axle that you can shape and size is really important for a, a smooth, easy wheel swap so you don't have any extra axle hanging out of your wheel there and the wheel's not super loose. So yeah, I think we're going to do another Datsun. I think I'm going to hold off on the Civic. I would love to open it and check it out. Uh, let's use the Advan tire and I think I'm going to swap the tires and put them on this gold this gold eight spoke wheel. I think that will be the best look for the Datsun. Let's get her out of the package here. These things are like impossible to rip by the way. <sighs> look, I can't even cut it. Oh gosh, they're so tricky to open. All right. Imagine this is the wrong car. <laughs> oh, ooh, it's nice. Look at that little 510, huh? So cool. Is it a four-door? No, I guess not. A little two-door, 510. Keidel House right on the side. Yeah, this one's nice. The first one we opened had like a little uh, mark up there, but this one looks nice, dude. Yeah, so it already has a gold wheel on it. Uh, I really think... Yeah, yeah, that's going to be nice. So we're definitely gonna need the we're definitely gonna need the letter tire. I don't know. I guess the blue doesn't look too bad either, right? The blue, I don't know. I think the gold is the winner. We have the green, but nah. And then the blue four bar that wouldn't be terrible. I think last time I used a chrome four bar, so uh, we'll definitely. I want to do a different wheel combo, wheel and tire combo this time. All right. Let me swap the tires out on these. It's just a matter of taking the tire off, taking the tire off, putting the tire on, putting the tire on. Okay, I have the last one here all done. Boom. Now we have the Advan tire on the gold rim, and 
Wow, it does look awesome. It does look awesome. Give you a little, little sneak peek here. So different, right? So different. But is it different enough? Is it going to be different enough to really make up for all this work? Let me see. Let me just do a little eyeball test of my own here. Um, yeah, 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 that's cool. That does look nice. Still looks kind of original, kind of not. Uh, I'm not going to even put these tires onto the other wheels because what's the point? Let's just leave them off and then hopefully they don't get deformed in here. But what's the point, right? We might put different tires on those wheels. We might use these tires on other wheels. We will now have options. So if you do buy the Shop Monoblock wheels, they will send you axles with your order. They're a basic axle, and somehow you're supposed to put them on there and use like needle nose pliers and pinch the end. And then you have like this little pinched end of axle hanging out of your wheel swap. No, thank you, sir. Not in this house. We will be using the Monoblock Premium Axle that we can, again, size to our base and crimp the little pins in, holding our wheel in place. So our first step is going to be to remove these wheels, and there is a way to do this by drilling out this rivet and tapping it and putting a screw in there. I've done that before, but for this swap, we're just going to change the wheels, so I'm just going to take some wire cutters and carefully cut the wheels off right around the center point that way it breaks into two pieces and uh, and then you just grab it and pull so now we have one wheel off of the car uh, now i just have to cut the little pin off very carefully these will go flying watch your eyeballs okay i caught it but sometimes they go flying and they're very dangerous so be careful when you cut that pin Okay, I have now cut everything apart. Make sure we don't lose anything here. Let me just go throw all of this out. We don't need any of this stuff from the original wheel and axle setup. Be right back. So the premium axles, like I said, are, are great because you can take a premium wheel that you like and put it on your main line just by using these axles. Uh, and, and you can make it to where there's nothing sticking out of the wheel. There's no extra pin or extra axle because you can customize the links of these bad boys. So I'm going to insert my axle and I'm going to put the wheels on. And I just want to see how much extra is sticking out of the wheel, if any. And then we're going to use our Dremel and we're going to trim off the excess piece of the axle if there is any. Sometimes it lines right up and you're good to go. This one's going to need a little bit taken off the front. And let's see what we have to do for the back. It looks like the back, uh, well, um, no, that, that might be, yeah, yeah, they look pretty even. Sometimes the back's a little bit more narrow or the front's more narrow and uh, you, you never can tell until you start putting the axle on and test fitting it. I'm going to use their axle as a tool, their basic axle. It's a little tool here to poke my premium axle into the hole. There we go. Wow, the back one seems like it's way longer. Maybe they are a different size, the, the base front to back. Let's see. Let's flush that up. What do we have? Oop, we lost a wheel. Nah, it might be about the same. So I'm just going to take my Dremel and I'm just going to shave off a tiny little bit here. Just a little bit. I'd rather cut too little than cut too much and have a ruined axle. Okay, using my safety glasses, of course, and the Dremel, I was able to shorten our axles. Hopefully not too much. Hopefully I didn't do it too much. <laughs> but we're going to find out right now. So we'll do, uh, we'll do a little test here. Oh yeah, that, that does look, that looks better already. Gosh, maybe I didn't uh, take off enough of the axle. Ooh, them gold rims look nice on there with the Advan tires. Slicks, of course, race car. You know, slicks on your race. 
Okay, I forgot hat mic, but yeah, we, we trimmed our axles down, hopefully not too much. Uh, I did use the Dremel, and of course I had my safety glasses on. And now we're just doing a little look-see to see. Huh. Yeah, it still might be too long, honestly. I may not have taken off enough, which is fine. You'd rather go a little bit at a time than, than ruin your axles. Yeah, I'm afraid that might be too loose. If I, if, I, if I crimp it, I'm afraid the wheel might be a little bit too loose. Let me test the back, just in case we have to take a little bit more off the back as well. But like I said, you'd rather take off a little at a time. Okay, looks good. Yeah, I'm going to take just another... Oh, gosh... I don't know how many thousands, but just a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit more off. Hold on. Okie dokie. We have now shaved our axles twice, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be fine. I'll do a quick test fit up front just to see, just to make sure. You don't want them too short. You don't want them too long. It's got to be just the right size. And I think we may have done it. Poke this in. Wow, it looks great with these wheels. Gosh, is it still too long? What? Flush that up there. And it might still be a little too long, unfortunately. But, you know, it's better to take a little bit off at a time than to take too much off and then your axle is ruined. Let's see this other axle, just in case it, like, slipped out of my hand. Yes, I was holding it in my hand, I know. Not safe. Not OSHA approved. Man, these little axles are great tools. I, I should keep them for pushing in the, the pin at the end here. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Come on. Get that nice and flush. Gosh, I think they really need a little bit more. All right, round three on the axle trimming. This always takes the longest for me. Okay, hopefully that was enough. Third time's the charm, my people. Let's see, it looks exactly the same. Every time I put it back in, I'm like, oh, it looks exactly the same as before, but we are just taking off very minute amounts of material at a time over on my fancy machine shop of a Dremel and kitchen sink. Okay. It's still a little long. Come on. What is going on here? Are we not flush on that side? Maybe it is the right length. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Let's try it. All right, so here's what we're going to do, my people. Uh, the the set, the premium axle set comes with the two main shafts and then your little outer pins here. So I'm going to grab an outer pin. I'm going to crimp it on to this one side of the axle, just the one side. I'm going to stick our pin in the premium axle hole, I hope. Sometimes the dremeling messes that up. So I'm going to take my pliers here and I'm just going to crimp down the outer piece of the axle onto that inner pin and nothing happened. So we're going to try crimping that again. So get that back in there. Let's try it maybe from this way. Maybe these aren't the best to use for this. Yeah, I don't know. She's a little loose still. Let's see. I usually use a different pair of pliers that has like extra leverage so when you squeeze them they squeeze a little bit tighter than you're squeezing because I don't want nothing falling apart falling apart it's still a little loose but I'm just gonna send it all right so we're gonna stick this one through here actually wait what we need to do is take another pin on the other side and I'm going to Put it in here, and I'm going to softly crimp it 
so that it comes back out but it's still tight when we go to put it back in if that makes sense so we're just gonna carefully try to just a nice little soft crimp nothing nothing crazy so I want to be able to pull this pin oh that's too soft no big deal we'll try it again it's so weird you got to be careful on this part because you could yeah see that may have been too much all right, so the other side came out, no big deal. Hopefully that's gonna work. So I will stick this into this wheel now, and we'll start in the front, inserting my axle like so. I'm probably gonna need another tool. And then I'm gonna put my pin into that axle. Come on, come on. As you can see here, I, I have the crimped side all assembled here. Now I'm going to put this axle pin into there. It should be nice and tight. And I'm just working that axle in place. Oh gosh, they're still way apart, okay. Might need to get, where's the other, where's the other axle? There it is. Let's see if their axle will work as a tool. I normally use like a little electronic screwdriver to, to send it home. This part can get tricky. Yeah, we're going to need... Let me get another tool. Hold on. Okay, what I do is take like these little drill bits and they work great to help send this axle home using the right size, of course. That's a little big. Put that one back. And then we'll just grab this little guy. That'll hold that one. And then I can use this flat side over here. And Oops, I missed. Just push everything together. Ow! Ow, something's biting in my foot. What's down there? Ow. Come on, Axel. You can do it. This part's tricky. Come on, push in. Oh, it's going. It's going. I think we got it. I think we got it all the way. Use this axle that they gave us as a tool. That's so great. Thanks for the tool. Let's try. Wait, that is the smaller bit. Okay, put you right there. And put you right there. I think that's it. I think we sent it, dudes. Dude, and just like that. Wow, she's a roller. Holy cow, look at that. Dude, this thing might actually go on tracks. Let me try it. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Dude. That's nice. A little side play. That's okay. You don't want the wheel so tight to the base that it can't roll, right? So, oop, got some pins stuck to us. But yeah, there, that's how you want it. You don't want it so tight that the wheel is, is rolling on the base, right? If the side of the wheel, that inner wheel, is hitting the base, then it won't have that type of amazing rolling action. And of course, it's a Hot Wheel. It should roll. Wow, looks awesome. Let's do the back. Same deal. Grab my pins right here. One pin. Two pins. We're going to crimp one side on to the axle. And I think using the corner of the pliers worked better. <clears throat> worked better. I mean, I say that and then I just pulled that other side right off. It was so easy. But that was like the perfect crimp. It was just enough for the axle to have room to come out. But when it went in, it was really gripping it good. Okay, that did not work at all. How come you're not crimping, my friend? Go ahead and hold my end. Arrgh! Okay, okay, okay. That seems a little better. Come on. Oh, i got to get my other pliers. They're so buried in the junk back there. Okay, I did it. I finally crimped it enough so that the axle pin will go in. Here we go. Oh, I almost forgot the wheel. We don't want to forget the wheel. That would be not very good for a wheel swap. Okay. The wheel is on. The last wheel is going on right now. This is taking three hours. 
Just kidding, it's not that long. It's basically as long as the clips. I really didn't do much off camera, except for set this one axle because like, it was really giving me a hard time, okay? All right, that's in. Now we're gonna take our two drill bits holding one side of the axle pin and we're gonna try to push this one in. Oh, I slipped off, hold on. Let me do it down here. I was trying to do it on camera for you, but I just couldn't. I guess we could move the camera down. Downtown, I'm downtown. Okay, drill bit and drill bit and get that satisfying click. Oh, we slipped off because these drill bits actually are round. They're, 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 they're round right here on the end. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I really need a flat tool for this. Okay, come on. Now we're on this side, okay, we're gonna push this side in, come on, let me try doing it by hand a little bit. Oh gosh, it's not even moving now, oh no, what happened? Not good, no bueno. Sometimes I do this. Yep, that worked. Now we gotta do this, come on. Oh, that's it, we got it. Ugh, push it hard so it's in there. Good, dude. Wheel swap complete. Look at that roller. Oh, oh, I was going to say. I was like, oh, that one got stuck. Let's see how she rolls, right? Let's see. Oh, dude. Dude, it's a race car. It's a race car. It's a Datsun 510 race car, dude. Look at that thing. Just smooth. So smooth. Really looks great, huh? Look at that. Yeah, that's cool, man. I'm happy with that result. She looks awesome. Look at that, the new gold wheels. Even though it had gold wheels, I threw them away. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Gold wheels, the Advan tires, looks great. Shopmonoblock.com, this is not sponsored yet. I've asked them to partner with us, but uh, we're gonna do the white tire chase. And like, so here's a gold wheel, right? I probably shouldn't have used this yet, actually, now that I think about it. But whatever, we'll order another set of gold wheels. All right, whatever. I still have the four bar ones. But darn, man, that was dumb. I should have saved those for the chase thing. But whatever, we'll order more. They're, they're, they're not they're cheap. They're like five bucks a set, something like that. You get multiple sets in your order for like 20 bucks. So so there it is, the Kaido House 510. Uh, they are go shopmonoblock.com. They are going to send us some white tires and some stuff to do our chase wheel swaps. Uh, maybe this will be it. Maybe, oh no, we're going to do the time of taxi, right? I don't know. I don't know. I have a couple. We're going to do a couple chases, but the first one's probably going to be the time of taxi. Then maybe we'll do one with the dots and two. Thank you so much for watching today's video, my people. I'm sitting here waiting for the mail. We got some incredible mail coming. The pack Packages are showing out for delivery. I can't wait to show you. I was hoping it would have been in this video. It won't be. It'll be tomorrow's video. But thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one.